Hey guys, welcome to the shop of the Wood Craftsman. Uh, so this video here, I'm going to basically talk about new and improvements I've made for actual video and audio quality for 2016 YouTube video production. Um, first of all, as you know, I upload videos kind of as I basically have time to just produce them. And I, I put a video out in the past as far as, you know, the effort that it kind of goes into it to kind of get people to understand a little bit as far as, you know, it's not just something I just set the camera up and go. There's a lot of other stuff that goes into it. And by all means, I'm not a professional at it. Um, the actual video aspect of my YouTube videos is everything that's I basically it's self-taught either learning strictly on my own or by watching videos on YouTube. So YouTube has definitely helped me with the actual video end of it. And it's also helped me with some suggestions and ideas from um, videos I've put out there about what people like to see, um, what people don't care for, things like that. And also at the same time, I've learned from other uh, YouTube members who do woodworking about some tips and tricks that they've shared. So my whole intent for my YouTube videos is to share with other people that are interested in woodworking as far as how how you know some things are done how we do things here things like that and as you'll notice in my disclaimer that I'm not saying that this is the way you have to do it it's just simply the way that I've learned how to do it and it works very well for me um, I've got you know over 20 years of woodworking experience I actually started kind of young but it doesn't matter I'm not saying that the way that I do things is the best. I'm not saying they're perfect by no means, but I'm saying that they work well for me. And if they work well for you, that's fantastic. So I just wanted to kind of put that out there. So for 2016, I have three goals that I had set back in the end of 2015 that I wanted to improve for 2016 uh, videos. And basically, uh, there was three things that I wanted to improve. I wanted a better tripod, something that was more stable, something that had a higher height range, and something that wasn't going to break the bank. I got that. The second thing I wanted to do was is uh, get a little bit better uh, video camera than what I had, something that had a little bit wider angle lens, which I know absolutely nothing about. I will tell you that up front. Um, I was reading a bunch of articles online about trying to find a camera that had a wide angle lens. And they were throwing these millimeter numbers out there, which I have no idea what they mean. So I luckily found a website that kind of talked about the different camera models and whether they had a, a wide, wide angle lens or not. So I found a camera that's got a, a wider angle lens than what I had, so I'm good to go there. The third thing that I wanted to do was is improve the audio quality. Now this is something I wish I would have done a long time ago, but I didn't know anything about it. So um, there's a couple different ways that you can improve audio quality on videos. And I'm going to talk about them real briefly here. The first thing, basically um, the both ways require the use of an external mic as you can see right here. This is a external microphone. It's a Bluetooth. Um, it's made by Canon. Um, it's uh, you know it's a little bulky. Not something you'd uh, have a reporter wear on you know doing a, a report. But for in the shop here, it's actually um, works really well. I've actually got two videos uh, that I'm going to be releasing after this one that I've already uh, produced that um, are using this, and I'm really amazed as far as straight out of the box, never using anything like this before, I was really impressed. Um, so the couple different ways of getting the improved audio into the video is number one is you use a wireless microphone that might uh, actually just have a, I take it back, it's wireless but it's wired. Um, it'd have a cable running from a small lapel mic and you could actually plug that in to your smartphone and you can use the recording feature on your smartphone or an app. The other option is if you don't have a smartphone, you can just get a recording device. So basically what you're doing essentially is recording the audio separate from your video. The disadvantage to that is, there's like two disadvantages that I see from it. The first disadvantage is, is if you don't use video editing software, it's really hard to link up the audio with the video because there's nothing worse than having mismatched audio and video um, where you're not, your lips aren't moving, but you're talking. Um, it, I got a couple of my own videos like that. When I upload them, the file got, uh, somehow the audio and video got missynced a little bit and they're off ever so slightly. It's just kind of annoying for me, but other people may not, you know, it may not bother. 
Uh, the second option to get the, uh, actually the other disadvantage to um, recording audio separately is if you do use video editing software, in my case I use uh, Sony Movie Studio 12, you can import the layer of audio as a separate audio file, but then you have to line up the audio with the original audio from the, um, the video footage because the camera is still going to be recording its own audio, but you're recording an additional audio with your separate uh, recording device. So it uh, can be a little bit tricky to line up the layers so that way all the peaks and valleys line up so that way your audio is synced perfectly. Um, the way that I do it is, luckily the camera that I got, which is a Canon Vixia um, HFR60, actually has a wireless micro, or actually has a microphone jack. So this microphone actually has another uh, roll of quarters, if you will, um, that's hanging on the side of the camera. It's got a, like a short uh, four inch cable that goes from the receiver to the, uh, the jack in the camera. So this is the microphone slash transmitter. And then like I said, there's another, um, looks just like this, which is actually the receiver that has a, a four inch cable or so that goes from the top into the side of the camera. So I'm feeding directly into the camera itself. It's been a, a really good, I've watched uh, the videos a couple times I've produced with it um, for just taking it right out of the box and it's been great. So um, overall you might be asking, well how much did you invest into improving your 2016 videos? Not really that much. Um, I didn't set a lot aside to do it to begin with, but I didn't want to break the bank. Um, you, I will say this, you definitely get what you pay for and sometimes you get really lucky. The tripod that I bought uh, for 2016 is actually a Polaroid. Um, yeah, I haven't heard of Polaroid in a long time, but um, I got it for $29.99 with free shipping and it stands 72 inches high and it's just, it's more solid than what I had and I'll show you that here shortly. The camera itself is uh, Canon Vixia HFR60. I believe that was delivered to my door with next day shipping from Amazon for 200 and, let's just call it $240. And the wireless microphone set from Canon WMV1, which is actually Bluetooth, um, you can find it on Amazon for anywhere from 189 all the way up to about 229 um, or you can buy it directly from Canon for 250 with free shipping. This set here I actually found on eBay. Um, it was a new slash other. Um, description was it was a new microphone set that had never been used but it was an open box and there was actually a make it offer option. I made an offer on it and I got it for $140 delivered brand new. So I got lucky there. So it's all said and done. I have about between $415 and $420 um, into um, new video and audio equipment for 2016 YouTube videos. Um, it's not a lot but it's not a little. If you're just starting out it might uh, start sound kind of steep but um, you know this is the uh, fifth year and putting out YouTube videos so I just wanted to make an improvement um, overall so hopefully you guys will, will see that improvement as well um, the one question I've gotten in the past it doesn't come up too often but some people ask me why I don't upload in 1080p um, basically I have the capability and I, I have the capability with my last camera um, which I'll show you here shortly the biggest thing for me is I don't really have a big enough computer that can do it that can do it efficiently as far as the rendering of it. The other thing is too is actually uploading them. Uh, that that's the other thing. I live out in the rural here, out in the country, in the middle of nowhere, and uh, the internet speed isn't as fast. Um, so it's one of them things that. I believe 720 is by far better than 480 or 360, but a lot of times videos I watch on YouTube just because of the internet speed, I watch them in 360 or 480 at the most. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm content with that. Some people really want that, you know, 1080p or that 1440, um, and now you got cameras that record in 4K. Uh, you know, it, it's, it's advanced, but you know, sometime I might actually move up to 1080 or 1440, but 
I really, um, for me, it's just, it's more of a, a hassle. So that's why I always upload in 720. Unless it's a really big file, then I might do it in 480. Um, but otherwise you can pretty much count on 720. So I just wanted to point it out there. Some people have asked about it in the past, but it's not been something really critical where it's been a, a constant request. It was just more so of a question. So I thought, so I'd share that with you. So I'm going to show you now as far as where I started with video cameras and record or video uh, equipment and where I'm at now. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Here it is. Hey guys, the Wood Craftsman here, and I'm going to go through a quick walkthrough here as far as what I've got going on here. Um, I'm just going to show you as far as where I started with for video equipment for capturing the YouTube videos uh, to where I'm at now. Uh, this one here is actually the very first video camera or camcorder I bought. It's a uh, Samsung, uh, couldn't even tell you what model it is. Um, it uh, it served me well. Um, I used it for about, uh, I suppose, about two years. And then I had stepped up into uh, a little bit better one. But this was the very first one. Um, a lot of my videos I did with this one were actually in a 4x3 resolution. And I did learn a little bit later that you can actually set up for 16.9. But I didn't know what I was doing with it. So, I mean, everything I've done with the YouTube videos from um, the actual camera use all the way up to video editing is self-taught. So uh, it, it worked well for me, but uh, back in the end of 2012, I believe it was, um, might have been actually 2013, I actually stepped up into a uh, little bit better camera. So this was the uh, next camera I stepped up into. This was a Sony Handycam. Uh, this one was by far a step up from where I had. Um, this one actually had recorded in HD all the way up to 1080p um, was a really good camera and it served me well all the way up in here through 2015 and uh, I just decided I wanted to upgrade a little bit more from that uh, I was looking for something with a wide angle lens and I was also looking for something that actually had um, an external or had a mic jack for to use with an external mic and um, that was one of the things I was looking for the other thing too, this was the original tripod that I had. As you can see here, it's actually kind of short. So a lot of times I would actually have to set it up on something to get the shot that I was looking for. And also because it wasn't a wide angle lens, I actually need to set the camera farther back so you actually get more of the footage. So one of the things I looked for was a wide angle lens and um, also um, a external mic or a jack for an external mic. So in January of 2016, um, I actually stepped up in the tripod and camera. Now this is a Canon camcorder. It is a Vix, uh, Canon Vixia um, HFR60, and it has a wide-angle lens, and it also has an external uh, mic port, so I can use external microphones with it. Uh, the nice thing about it is I also got this uh, nice tripod that stands 72 inch, or goes up to 72 inches high and it was actually cheap. I spent uh, less than uh, 30 bucks delivered, $29.99 from eBay. So one of the next things I did for 2016 improvement was actually start looking into using a wireless microphone, which is totally new to me. Um, there's been a couple choices out there, and I will have to say that there's some good choices and there's some bad choices, and you do get what you pay for. Um, so this is a box that basically contains uh, SD cards, um, batteries for the wireless microphone system, and then some miscellaneous cables to make the wireless microphone system work. Um, so kind of separated out here. Basically, this is the original microphone that I had ordered originally that actually has a long story behind it. Um, I ordered off of eBay, um, I think two weeks ago. I had paid for next day delivery. Uh, it looks to be it never shipped. So basically, they refunded all my money, and then I thought, you know what, I'm going to try it again. So I had reordered it recently here, which I've got now. But during that time, I actually had discovered um, a wireless microphone system from Canon which is the same as the uh, ca the latest camera I'm using. And basically, um, these are the two that make the microphone system work. We have, uh, if I can quit fumbling here, 
we have a microphone and a receiver. So this is what I would be wearing um, on my shirt someplace or my apron. And then this would actually plug into the camera with this cable here because as I mentioned earlier, the camera does have a uh, microphone jack. And I've done a couple videos in this and actually the sound quality is really, really good. This one here, uh, I tried it and I never made a video with it. Uh, it's called the Pile uh, PWM69, I believe is the uh, the number. We'll just use that one right there, P PD PDWM69. Uh, and it says it's Pile. Let me tell you, uh, for what I paid for that, you do get what you pay for. Um, it's actually a pile of shit for me. Uh, it's, it, it's as far as clarity... It's a, it's a crisp, clean sound. There's no static or anything, but there's a lot of white noise. And supposedly, on some of the reviews I had watched, um, you could actually go into your camera and turn on a microphone attenuator setting. But I can't seem to find it in the camera I have, so I just resulted not using it. But if I really need to use it, uh, I could. It's just that uh, the audio quality would have some white noise in the background, so I'm kind of opting not to. The other disadvantage to this one, too, was... is this one has a quarter inch or a 6.35 millimeter uh, male uh, plug, and that will not fit in that camera. So basically, you need an adapter. I just happen to get this uh, cable here that goes from, uh, whoops, 6.35 millimeter to 3.5 uh, millimeters. They'll slip into a standard microphone jack. So one of them things that you do get what you pay for. When it was all said and done because of the first runaround, I went through getting the first one that never got delivered. They had refunded my money, and then as a goodwill charge, uh, they said that they would uh, basically give me next day shipping um, free of charge, and then also give me $15 off my next order. So when it was all said and done, this microphone jack or this microphone system um, with the cable and they say the microphone and receiver was delivered for seven dollars and six cents because the the microphone was about twelve dollars um for the kit and like another mm, i'm not sure it's probably about six or seven dollars for the cable so you do get what you pay for but it uh it may you know if i need it um in a pinch i could use it but otherwise i will be using the uh canon these are a wmv1 i believe Yep, WMV, uh, WM V1. Um, I've done a couple videos with this, and for just taking it straight out of the box and not knowing what I was doing, I was very impressed. So, uh, look forward in the future videos um, with the, the uh, wireless mic set. And what's nice about this, the uh, Canon, is it's actually a Bluetooth, so it's got quite a range um, 150 feet, I think. Versus this one here is like 60 feet, which doesn't really matter because the shop's not that big. But just the quality of the sound was actually really good for what I paid for it. So um, $7 sound versus $140 sound, there's a difference just in the uh, the background noise. So, so there we have it. Started with this camera. Moved into the Sony Handycam. Used that for a couple of years, and now we're into the Canon uh, camera, which also has a, a wide-angle lens, uh, so I can get in um, a little bit closer, or have the camera a little bit closer, and still get a good background shot. Anyways, look for the future videos um, with the Canon camera here, and uh, the wireless mic set. And the nice thing, too, is being now I have two camcorders that record in HD, um, I can actually have a couple cameras set up, to maybe do a picture-in-picture -picture shot or just different shots in general but like I said I do prefer the Canon the uh, picture quality is just so much more better as well so the technology keeps changing and uh, it's a good thing all right guys hope you enjoyed this quick video I just wanted to share it with you for some changes here and progression I've made over the years and uh, you should be seeing some nicer video quality uh, here for 2016 I'm not sure if I'm going to, even though I've had the capability of uploading in 1080p, I'm not sure if I will, uh, just for the simple reason it does uh, require um, a lot of upload time. So, 
We'll see how that goes, whether or not the, it'll still be 720 for the most part, but hopefully the video quality will be a little bit better, and you'll be able to hear me a little bit better too. I won't be shouting as far uh, when talking to the camera. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Questions and positive comments are welcome. Thanks for watching.